right here in Bentu Town, we have the largest IDP camp. It is surrounded by water. There are more than 110,000 people here who've been affected by conflict, another 20,000 affected by flooding, and there have been five newly established sites. It's almost unimaginable. People have been forced to leave their communities. Livestock has died. There's tremendous food insecurity. People are more threatened by things like malaria and other disease. It's having a tremendous impact on the people of this community in very devastating ways. <laughs> I've been to site B where I met with women who were displaced due to the flooding last year. I'm speaking with women and adolescent girls who've been displaced for seven years now and they were displaced due to conflict. And what really strikes me is that in both contexts, it's women and girls that are really bearing the brunt of the impact of the displacement and who are really desperate for livelihoods so that they can sustain their families. We're extremely grateful for the generous support that our donors have provided for us, but we continue to appeal for more funding so that we can support them to return to their homes to ensure that the violence ends, to ensure stability, so that they have a real opportunity and for South Sudan overall. <laughs>